We are finally here. Welcome, welcome in to the official Aether Revolt booster box opening. I know there's no other booster box openings on the entire internet of Aether Revolt. So be glad that you're here for the official Aether Revolt booster box opening. Let's get right to work. Normally, I, uh, I'm going to use my thousand degree knife here. Since it happens to be down here, it's still actually kind of warm, but many weeks later. But let us get right into it. We are going to go through, open them up, in case you've never watched one of my booster box openings. We will look at the rare and uncommons. And then if you're more of a fan of the shorter versions, I usually post a just the sauce video, which is just the rares. Much faster. But I am going to try to keep the pace up in this one, regardless. Malfist. Okay. SRAM's expertise. Eh, creating um, servo tokens and getting to free cast a spell. It could be worse. Free jam. Solid pumpable dragon. Kind of like Shivan Dragon, right? Feels better than Shivan Dragon because you can cast it with Improvise. So you can cast it much sooner. Deadeye Harpooner. Nice. Enraged Giant. Love that art. Quicksmith Spy. Um, yeah, giving artifact tap to draw a card. Very strong. I'd say that Definitely deserves to be a rare for draft reasons. And it's also four mana too, so it's not it's not screwing around with the CMC. Oh, I don't want these to be upside down. There we go. Love this card. Inspiring Sanctuary. Three mana. And gives your other non-artifact spells improvise. Not too shabby. So what do you think of Aether Revolt so far? What do you most... Tell me in the comment section down below, right after you like the video, because why not if you're having fun, what card would you like to open most? Non-lottery card. Gremlin Infestation. Sky Ship Plunder. Efficient Construction. Our first mythic. Gonti's Aether Heart. Uh, six mana, whenever it or another artifact on the battlefield under your control, you get two energy. Very strong. Pay a bunch of energy, exile it, take an extra turn after this one. Wizards always love to have these take an extra turn abilities in. and I don't know. I don't know if I really love them that much. Hungry Flames. SRAM Senior Edificer. Two mana, two, two. We're casting our equipment, or vehicles, or spell. Draw a card. Woo, that's strong. Very strong. Don't sleep on that card. Card draw engine. Yes, plocks. Daredevil Dragster. Thopter Arrest. Sly Requisitioner. And our first Planeswalker, a Johnny Unyielding. Six mana with four loyalty. Plus two. Reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all non-land permanent cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. In any order. Minus two. Exile target creature. Its, cre its controller gains life equal to its power. That's still fine. Minus nine. Put five one one counters on each creature you control and five loyalty counters on each other planeswalker you control. It's pretty funny. It's uh, definitely a Planeswalker uh, Ultimate EDH. It's very strong for EDH. That's that's a fact. Or in Thopter Dex, maybe. Narum Renegade. Renegade Rallier. Barricade Breaker. Life Crafters Beastery. Three mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, Scry 1. Very strong. Uh, whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay one. If you do, draw a card. Ooh, that's also very strong. Some of these cards that are kind of like, you start reading them and you're like, oh, that's strong. Ooh, that's even stronger. 
Hidden Herbalists, Outland Boar, Spire Patrol, and Solemn Recruit. Three mana, two, two, double striker. That could be a three, three. Not bad. Shipwreck Moray. Gotta love that eel. Foil eel. <laughs> oh. No? Gotta watch out for the foil ones because those are the ones that will get you. The non foil ones, they've actually been demagnetized, de energized. Skyship Plunderer, Pacification Array, Renegade Wheelsmith, and Carry Zav's Expertise. Three mana, steal a creature or a vehicle, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can also free cast a two mana spell. So, five CMC for the price of three. Wrangle. Gotta wrangle that dangle. I mean, goblin. <laughs> Trophy mage. Reverse engineer. Feldhar guardian. And Aether Sphere harvester. I should probably keep those Feldhar guardians aside, but maybe not. They're probably... <laughs> they're gonna be worth 50 cents very soon. Foil versions of them might stay up there, though. Outland boar. Ironclad Revolutionary, Efficient Construction, and Scrap Trawler. Three mana, three, two. That allows you to, when it dies, bring something back with a lesser CMC. Pretty good. Reckless Racer. Boy, Fatal Push seems like it's uh, basically an uncommon two, like from back in the day, where it's like somewhere between rare and uncommon. You just don't see it very often. Maybe this is true of all uncommons but when you're looking for them that's kind of happens maybe treasure keeper gifted aetherborn sly requisitioner and tezzeret two planeswalkers in this box four mana five loyalty plus one created colorless artifact token named ethereum cell with tap sacrifice this artifact and one mana of any color to your pool so it doesn't protect himself which is kind of frustrating minus two target creature is plus one my or plus x minus x till end of turn where X is the number of artifacts you control, so you could use it as removal or pump. Uh, minus seven, you get an emblem with, at the beginning of your upkeep combat of your turn, target artifact you control becomes a 5-5 five, five artifact creature with base power and toughness of five. Um, yeah. Not crazy good. Maybe I'm missing it. I'm sure once a pro tour happens, and in two weeks when the format's solved, we'll all know. Winding Constrictor. Consulate Dreadnought, Tezzeret's Touch, Midnight Entourage. Very good in a Aetherborn um, tribal deck. Do those exist? Seems unlikely. I don't know. Aeronaut Admiral, Airdrop Aeronauts, Crackdown Aeronaut, and Consulate Crackdown. <laughs> That's funny. Five mana enters the battlefield, exile all artifacts your opponents control until... Council of Crackdown leaves. Watch this card because if there's a like a Thopter uh, strategy, that's essentially a board wipe, right? Gonti's Mechanations, Malfit's Revolutionary, Airdrop Aeronauts, oops, 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 Aether Tide Whale, Airdrop Aeronauts Foil. What cards would I like to pull? I don't know. Foil Fatal Push seems pretty good. Seems like it'll hold its value pretty nice. Foundry Hornet. Life Crafter's Gift. Monstrous Onslaught. Green Belt Rampager. Very strong. 3-4 for 1 as long as you have 2 energy. <laughs> That's pretty nice. You can also cast it once on turn 1. Get an energy and then cast it on turn 3 or something. Universal Solvent. Nice uh, Planeswalker removal if you need to. So that card is very good. I'd be very surprised if it didn't see play at some point in Standard or even other formats. It's very aggressive. Scrapper Champion. Fatal Push. Pima Aether Seer. And Battle at the Bridge. Removal Heavy Pack with Improvise. Very, very swingy card. Kill something. Gain a bunch of life late game. Like in... Uh, limited, sealed. That'd be pretty gross. But there certainly are. It's just a strong removal card. Probably not good enough for standard because of sorcery speed, but who knows? Invigorated Rampage. 
Siege Modification, Windkin Raiders, and Pia's Revolution. Pia's not happy. Pay three mana. Whenever a non-token artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return that card to your hand unless the opponent has Pia Revolutions deal three damage to him or her. Very strong. Um, in an artifact archetype. Aeronaut Admiral, Ornithopter, Siege Modification, a Yehani. Hey, yo, Yehani. Very strong card as well. Counters, it's a sack outlet. And there's like a red, black. There's a lot of, you know, gain control of target creature or vehicle. So take control of something, then blow it up with Yehani. Very strong. Death Dismissal, Cogwork Assembler, Servo Schematic, and Heroic Intervention. Permanence you control gain indestructible and hex proof at instant speed in green. Very good combat trick. Especially if you're alpha striking or you're blocking down. Daredevil Dragster, Thopter Arrest, Tezzeret's Touch, and Whirr of Invention. This card, we'll keep an eye out on this one too. Um, it could essentially become pay three and get a giant thing and put it in onto the battlefield. So not just in your hand, but on the battlefield. So there are some very swingy cards in this set. Malfus Revolutionary, Ridge Scale Tusker, Tezzeret's Touch, Tell Me on the Tezzeret where it touched you, Green Wheel Liberator, two mana, two on with Revolt, very strong card because it distributes two more power. Um, so you could potentially have a 4-3 for two so green is very aggressive. It seems like green is pushed in this set. Ravenous Intruder, Trophy Mage, Ridge Scale Tusker, and Walking Ballista. Ballista. That could also get pretty busted in the EDH game where you could generate a buttload of mana. That is an actual unit of measurement. Yes, it is. Ravenous Intruder. Shielded Aether Thief, Consulate Dreadnought, and Quicksmith Rebel. Could get out of hand if you had multiples of it. It's not a terrible card. Implement of Improvement Foil. Last stack. Hey, if you're enjoying your time here and you haven't taken a second to hit that like button, definitely please do that. It helps me know you're hanging out and you're having fun. It also helps new people find the channel. And don't be afraid to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Untethered Express, Gifted Aetherborn, Fatal Push, and a Mythic Mechanized Production. Four mana, Enchant Artifact you control. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of Enchanted Artifact. Then if you control eight or more artifacts with the same name as another, you win the game. So put it on a servo token or something late game. It's pretty busted. There'll be a link to my Discord in the chat below as well, where you can chat. There's tons of custom chat rooms for all the different formats. You can voice chat. You can even voice chat with me. It's totally free. People in there seem to love it. Rogue Refiner, Crackdown Construct, Perilous Predicament, and Rick Rishkar Pima Renegade. Very strong elf. Three mana 2-2 two, two that uh, you can put two 1-1 one, one counters on it, and then you can also turn creatures with... Uh, counters on them into mana ramp. And we have a foil heroic intervention. There's a Johnny uh, taking the net. Taking the net. Get the net. Get the net. Wayne's World reference. Weld Fast Engineer. Renegade Wheelsmith. Hungry Flames. And an Oath of a Johnny. This will see some play, I would imagine. Savage Scuttler, Salvage Scuttler, Restoration Specialist, Maverick Thopterist, Glint Sleeve Siphoner, 2 mana, 2 on with Menace. And whenever it attacks or enters a battlefield, you get an energy. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay 2. If you do, you draw a card and lose 1 life. Very strong. I can't emphasize enough how strong drawing cards and limited is. It's a huge, a huge advantage. It's going to be 
Y your advantage is going to be huge. Savage Scuttler. Salvage Scuttler. Deadeye Harpooner. Barricade Breaker. And Merchant's Dock Hand. One mana, one, two. Always nice. Gotta love those. Well, as we rattle down, remember I will be opening up at least one of literally every Aether Revolt product. So I hope that you stick around, subscribe, so you get notified each and every time I upload. There's also that little bell thing. If you actually want a notification because you, YouTube doesn't do that, click that. Gifted Aetherborn, Windkin Raiders, Feldahar Guardian, and Rick, Rishkar's Expertise. I always want to say Rekshasa or Ridiculous. I don't know. Ironclad Revolutionary, Vengeful Rebel, L Lifecraft Awakening, and Peace Week Walker Colossus. Three mana, six, six. That can crew another Peace Walker. Very strong if you have duplicates. It's still pretty strong in general. Crew four is difficult. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Weldfast Engineer, Gremlin Infestation, Sly Requisitioner, and Secret Savage. Salvage. Oh, so much sorcery speed. Here's an Ethereum cell. So much sorcery speed. Renegade Rallier. Scrapper Champion. Reckless Racer. And Exquisite Archangel. 7 mana 5-5 five, five flyer. If you would lose the game, instead exile Exquisite Archangel and your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. This card is pushed. Now I'm going to feel very, very bad if I see it across the table from me in a draft. Won't see constructive play. Commander uh, will be an issue. But you have to protect it too, right? Still dies to removal. Death Dismissal, Rengate Wheelsmith, Enrage Giant, and Dark Imitations. It's a little bolus precursor. All right, last pack. What are we going to get? Foil Fatal Push. Lock your guess in down below what you think the last pack will hold in the rare slot while you're doing that. Lock your vote in by hitting like. Here we go. Oh, dang it. Brutal. Savage. And did you say Yahini's expertise? You probably did not. Ooh, there is a foil, though. Oh, ho, 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 the last pack in the box. <laughs> That's the first time I've opened one of these, too. This might be the most unbelievable last pack ever. <laughs> That was insane. Well, if you haven't clicked like, do it now. If you haven't clicked subscribe, do that now. We'll talk to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.